So you're looking to improve your grip? Well stick around because in this video I'm going to share with you five of my favorite grip exercises using a towel. Welcome back to the Ninja Life. I'm Darren Paris, and I'm here to help you overcome obstacles. On this channel, we provide you with DIY obstacles, ninja related product reviews, and training tips, just like this video. So if any of these sound interesting to you, please consider subscribing. Using a towel is a great way to increase your grip. It's used for training in many sports, like Jiu Jitsu, Judo, Rugby, and of course, Ninja Warrior. By adding a towel to your workouts, it forces you to use what is called the crushing grip. And the crushing grip is basically a style of grip that requires you to squeeze something in the palm of your hand. So when you place a towel in your hand, you have to squeeze it tight enough so it doesn't slip away in addition to doing the actual exercise itself. So with that being said, here are my five favorite grip training exercises using a towel. At number five, we have what's probably the most commonly used exercise, pull-ups. Pull-ups are hard enough as a standalone exercise. You're using what's called a static grip. And by adding a towel, you switch over to the crushing grip. And like I mentioned before, you have to actively squeeze in order to hold on while doing the exercise. Pull-ups are a great dynamic exercise, but we have to also add in some static training, which leads me into number four, dead hangs. Holding a static grip for a minute as opposed to a crushing grip for a minute Right, you can see the difference. Doing this versus trying to squeeze for a full minute, there's a huge difference. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. At number three, we have what I like to call towel extensors. Please, if you have a better name, drop a comment and let me know because that's really all I can think of. And for this particular exercise, I'm going to be using a washcloth in place of a regular towel. You can use a regular towel if you want to, but this is what I'm using. Moving on. So basically, you're going to put your arms in the bucket, palms face down, making the shape of an L, bent at the wrist. You're going to use your fingers to squeeze the towel as much as you can while keeping your palm on the bottom of the bucket as best as you can. And repeat this for about eight to 10 reps. Don't get rid of that washcloth yet because at number two, we have a one hand towel crush. And like the last exercise, this works better if the towel is wet because it gives you a little more resistance. So the basic concept is to grab your hand towel and use your fingers to bring it into your palm, squeezing out as much as you can. If you ever had your washing machine break down or your power has gone out and you needed to do laundry, then you know how much it burns for this next exercise. I'm talking about my number one favorite exercise to do when training with a towel. And that's wringing out a wet towel. This exercise really burns the forearms. So to do this exercise properly, you don't wanna bring the towel into your core and start getting into all those weird angles where you start using your shoulders, biceps, and every other muscle group. What you wanna do is keep your hands in front of you and just using your forearms and wrists, you want to grab a towel and twist it and wring out as much water as you can. And you're going to do this all the way through until you reach the end of the towel. Yeah. 
dunk the towel back in the water and start twisting the opposite direction with each hand all the way down into the other end. And you wanna do about five to six reps. And trust me, you'll feel the burn. And if for some reason you don't and you're doing the right technique, then honestly, you're just a beast. Let me know what you're doing because I need to get on your level. Whew. Man, those exercises definitely gave me a pump. Ninja Talk. Grip strength is crucial for many sports. I'd like to hear from you guys. Which sport are you currently training for? And which of these exercises do you think you'd be using the most? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thank you for watching my video. If you got any value from my content, let me know by hitting that like button or by sharing this video with a friend or both. If you're looking for more ninja tips, I got a whole playlist right here. Or you can check out more ninja life content here. Keep training hard. I hope to see you on the course and I'll catch you guys next time on The Ninja Life. If you got any value from my content, let me know by, uh, let me know. Consider subscribing.